Greetings everyone. I wanted to show you a quick demo of our upcoming Satellite 6.4 release that illustrates the power of the Red Hat management portfolio. The demo is called Find It, Fix It, Before It Breaks. We did do a longer session on this during Summit 2018, which is available to watch at redhat.com slash summit. In this video, using Red Hat Management, we will discover issues that exist in your environment, create a plan to resolve the issues, and resolve the issues immediately, or schedule them to run at a later date and time. The environment that I'm using today is purposely simple. We have a satellite server connected to Insights, a capsule server connected to the satellite, and two hosts that are connected to the capsule. Let's get to the demo. First, I'll log into the satellite environment. On the dashboard, I've customized things a bit by enabling the dashboard widgets for Insights. There are two widgets that were introduced with Satellite 6.3 that show a summary of risk detected by Insights, which categorize risk by severity, as well as the Action Summary, which categorizes risks by category. Note that on the Risk Summary widget, we have two systems with critical issues. This means that on the hosts that are registered with Insights, we've detected two systems that have some risks that could cause us some major pain. These may not be things that are currently impacting our environment, but based on the Insights analytics, these risks are quite likely to cause severe issues. We also have a few low severity items, but we're going to start by addressing these critical ones. To begin, I click the widget right on the two critical issues. We see the two issues listed that are critical for these hosts. Each issue impacts both of our systems in this environment. These are tagged as critical because the likelihood of encountering this issue is high and the impact is high, thus the total risk is high. Notice the Ansible logo to the right of the issue. This means that there is an Ansible playbook available to help remediate this issue. Not all issues have playbooks, but many of them do. I'm going to click on the Open SSH item to see more detail. Note here that I can see the details about the risk as well as the recommended change. It also tells me that the risk of performing the actual change is very low. So if you have to file a change management request, this helps you supply the pertinent information. I'm going to select both of the hosts affected with this issue, then click the Actions button and select Create a New Plan slash Playbook. Provide a name for the plan and click Save. This specific issue has an Ansible playbook that has two options for resolution, and you can choose which best suits your needs. The default option will update the OpenSSH server and restart the service. The other option will just update the parameters and the sshd config file. Both options have a very low risk to remediate, and these options can be changed later. I'll accept the default, which will restart the service, and click Save. I've created my first plan. In this plan, I see the actions that I'm going to take, the systems that are impacted, as well as the risk to those systems, and the playbook. Note that the playbook includes the risk of change and a system reboot summary. No reboot is required here, as we're just restarting a service. If you recall, we had two critical issues we needed to address on these systems. Rather than repeating all these simple steps, I'm just going to click the Add Actions button to add another action to this plan. Note that the existing plan that I just created is already selected, and all systems are also selected. 
This plan already addresses the open SSH issue, so I'll check the DNS mask issue. If I want to see the details, I can select the issue, and it will open the action summary in a new tab. Much like the open SSH issue, the total risk for this issue is high, but the risk of remediation is low, as we just need to update the DNS mask packages. I'll close this tab to return to the plan builder, make sure that the DNS mask issue is selected, and click Save. Now our plan has two associated actions. If we click the arrow next to the Run Playbook button, you'll see that we have the option to customize the playbook run or download the playbook. I'm going to go ahead and click the Run Playbook button. This will start the process of remediating the issues. As a recap of what we've done so far, we logged in a satellite, and on the dashboard, we took a look at the Insights widgets and noticed that there were two critical issues identified by Insights that we needed to fix. We simply clicked on the widget to see the details of the issues. From there, we clicked on an issue and created a remediation plan based off of an Ansible playbook. After creating the plan, we added additional actions to the plan to remediate both of our critical issues. We then ran the playbook, which used Ansible, to start the process of remediation. So how do we do this? Satellite 6.4 adds Ansible as a full remote execution provider within Satellite. This enables Satellite to perform remote execution tasks through Satellite using Ansible. Please note that this is not Ansible Tower, but a subset of the Ansible capabilities that Tower provides. This means that as of Satellite 6.4, we will be able to leverage the powerful analytics from Insights to find risks and the intelligent automation that Ansible offers to perform the remediation. Let's take a look at the job invocation screen here. While I've been talking, the remediation has been running. On this page, we can see the plan ID, the number of hosts we're running this on, and a preview of the playbook. I can also click on the host tab and see the status for each individual host. When this is complete, we can return to the dashboard and take a look at the Insights risk summary again. You should note that at this point, zero systems have critical issues and only low risk items remain. Looking at the Insights action widget, we have two security risks remaining that we can address now. From the dashboard, I'm going to use the Actions widget and click on the Security category. There are two security items remaining, but notice that only one of these has a playbook associated. It's possible that the other item could still be remediated through Ansible, but you would need to build your own playbook as there is not one that's prepackaged. I'll select the decreased security and system logging issue that does have a playbook available. Notice in the details page that this issue has a high risk to mitigate. This is likely something that we want to update in a maintenance window, so we're going to schedule this to run at a later date or time. I'm going to select both of the hosts affected with this issue, then click the Actions button and select Create a New Plan or Playbook. Provide a name for the plan and click Save. This time, instead of clicking Run Playbook, I'm going to click the arrow beside it and select Customize Playbook Run. On the Job Invocation page at the bottom, notice that we have the Schedule option, which includes Execute Now, which is the default, Scheduled Future Execution, or Set Up Recurring Execution. I'll select Schedule Future Execution enter a start date and time, then click Submit. Thanks to the magic of video, we can speed up time a bit. The remediation begins at the scheduled date and time. To recap what you just saw, we used Satellite to view risks identified by Insights. We then created a plan with an Ansible playbook to remediate the discovered issues, and we executed the playbook, either immediately or at a later date and time, which resolved the issues. 
all from within the satellite user interface. We found it and we fixed it before it broke. We're really excited about the power of our combined Red Hat management portfolio. And this is just a sample of how Red Hat management makes your job easier. Thanks for your time.